Hello, today we're talking to Shropshire architect Matthew Franklin of MBF Design. Hello Matt. Hello Sue. Tell us about your Ask the Architect service. Yes, it's uh, every Friday afternoon, free design surgeries on and off the internet for anyone who asks questions about any aspect of architecture. Well, today we're going to talk about finding balustrading products online. You were asked about that during one of your sessions, I think. Yes, uh, I had a query from a self builder who was looking at going to next level decking and he wanted to have um, some sort of balustrading around the edge of it um, in, the, in the coastal location as well. Ah, so two conflicting problems then. Uh, suitable for an external environment, but didn't want to obstruct the view, I guess. Did he have any particular thing in mind? Correct, yes. I mean, he had in mind either something that was glass or some sort of steel wire. OK, well, let's see how you answered his query using the ESI Info website. ESI Info is an online source of dedicated product information for designers with over 12,000 manufacturers and 15,000 products featured. The website has several sections for different disciplines, but it also has a comprehensive search box. Do you search particularly, Matt? Uh, yes, I think that's the first place I would start, um, typing in to see if some, what results we get, uh, if it's actually out there and we mix it. OK, let's try a search. The website's designed so you only need to look in one place and so then you can drill down to specific products and manufacturers. So let's search for balustrades. You'll note that the product categories and manufacturers come up in the instant search, but you might want to use this box to search for any term. In this case, we're going to do a complete search to see everything that's there. So I'll hit go. Quite a range of information is returned, including case studies, product types and companies. But let's look at the summary page first. This will be at the top. And here we are. There are um, 236 manufacturers and 88 product profiles. Now, you'd go straight to the products. Would that be your preference, Matt? Yes, I'd look at the um, product section. OK, let's click on that. Now we're in the Product Profiles tab. And there's also a Manufacturers and Suppliers tab where you can go to at any time. And then over on the right, there it shows how many balustrading products there are in the whole system. And underneath, there are a group of action buttons including the option to compare products and also to send inquiries to any selected group of product companies. And then underneath that, there are the product profiles, each one with an image. Now, images are really important in making your choice, aren't they, Matt? Uh, yes, I think they're, they're invaluable, really. Um, they, give, they give you a very quick idea of what exists and what might be suitable for your product. If you're looking for a domestic uh, application, um, you're more likely to choose images that are of a domestic nature above retail or commercial looking images. Well, 88 products is too many to look at. So let's go over to the filter system and we're looking for glass main materials. So let's click on the 12 glass products. There. Now, 12 is much more manageable. Yes. Now, where would we look first? I'll choose one that I think is looking most suitable, probably the one on the top right, and um, the one perhaps below it, and, and something, anything that was external, probably. Ah, more images. Yes, so it obviously gives you the indication that they do lots of different applications, which is um, reassuring. Well, let's have a look around the page. There's some more product information here, and this button allows you to copy uh, any technical information and contact details directly into a document. And here we have a map, shows they're located in Norwich, um, and some share buttons here if you um, want to share this page. Uh, you can also get in touch with them uh, via buttons if their company has profile buttons. And you can make a PDF. 
of the page, which you can then share, obviously, via email or save um, or print out. And we could get directly in touch with them now by sending them an inquiry. But uh, instead, let's save this uh, page to a project folder. And in order to do this, we need to sign into My ESI, which is the registration process. Folders um, are one of the advantages of registering, and it allows ESI basically to remember you so that it, you can save information for future use. It's free to register. Logged in as me, here we are logged in. And you can see that my project folders, uh, I have five project folders at the top, and I can go to my ESI section here with this button. Um, and below we now have those project folders laid out. And if I click on balustrades, it'll add that project to the balustrades folder. And there it says added to balustrades. Right, which other type of balustrade were you considering, Matt? Uh, it was stainless steel cable. Something of that nature. OK, well, let's try searching this time for stainless steel balustrades. Now we've got 272 results, including 119 manufacturers and only 18 products. So let's um, let's have a look at the manufacturers as an option this time. Now we're going to filter quite ruthlessly. Stainless steel here is already chosen. I'm going to choose cable and an exterior locations. And if I click here, there is an option for decking. Now that gives us 11 companies who say that they do cable stainless steel balustrades suitable for exterior decking. Let's have a look at one of these companies. Let's choose Regal. They've got seven products. Now this is interesting. They don't appear to have a specific product for the cable type. No, nothing on the images. Let's um, let's see. They're all materials, though. So let's choose the uh, bespoke stainless steel. And there are more images here. It doesn't look like they've got one with um, the metal wire between the posts. They all appear to be glazed examples. Now we could check out their brochure, which is down here, and they can upload lots of information if they want to here. But instead, let's go and have a look at their website. I'll open it in a new tab. Here we are. It takes you straight to their product section, which is useful. There's an infill options section. And here we have wire infill. Brilliant. Stainless steel, range of thicknesses, etc. So we know that they produce it. So let's add this product to our project folder as well so we can get in touch with them too. Let's have a look at the balustrades that we've saved then. This is our uh, folder for balustrades um, that we've saved. Have you used project folders before? No, I haven't. Is there any limits on the um, project folders? As I understand it, you can make as many folders as you like, and you can put as many products in them as you like. If we scroll down here, you'll notice there's the balustrade one that might be steel cable. If we make a note, We know that that's a, an option for the cable balustrades. All the others that I've saved here are potentially glass. Now, if we want more information from these people, we could uh, we could select them all. Let's turn the cable one off, um, and then send them all an inquiry like this. And this is filled out 
with my contact details automatically um, and I can type my inquiry in here um, and as you can see each one of those five glass companies have selected and I can turn them off as well um, and then each one of them will get an individual email if I send that to them but I think you'd, you'd do something different here wouldn't you Matt? Yes, in, in my instance, I make PDFs of the um, products and the company details on them and, and email them to the person who, is, who contacted us, the architect. Okay, that's fine. So you can either make a PDF of all of them or you can make a PDF of this page so, and then email that to your inquirer and then they can get on and get in touch with the manufacturers directly if they want to. Presumably, my ESI records the emails you sent out. Where are they stored? They don't actually store the emails at all. They're sent directly to the companies. But if you um, go to the inquiry form, there's a button that you can choose to get a copy of the email, and then you get sent one with all the companies that you sent it to as a record. Okay. So, in conclusion, Matt... What would you say was the most useful aspect of the ESI info site for you? Well, it's obviously a very searchable site, and um, what backs that up is the depth of information, the details, and how that information can be filtered. And it's such an easy process. Um, it's very user friendly, and as a whole, it makes it easy to use and makes it less of a headache when trying to identify and find products.